Hi everyone. Well, in my opinion, mums are the star of the fall gardening show, don't you think? They come in so many beautiful colors, yellow, white, burgundy, pink. I mean, the sky's the limit as far as the color goes in mums. And if you're like me, you go to the garden center every fall, stuff your car full of beautiful mums, get them planted, and you definitely want to enjoy their color as long as possible. Well, today I'm going to share with you a little tip for helping your mums bloom a second time and then pruning them back so that they grow back mounded rather than tall and lanky. Let's dig in. One reason why I love growing mums is not only for the beautiful color, but because they're perennial in zones five and above, which means that you can enjoy the beautiful color year after year. But to keep them blooming and vibrant all season long, the first thing you need to do is deadhead the flowers. Now deadheading is just simply that. It's cutting off the spent flowers that are dead to encourage brand new growth. Not only does deadheading just make your plant look so much neater and tidier, it also encourages new flower growth. So all the energy goes into producing new flowers. Now you might see here that there's a lot of little blooms underneath. So taking all those old blooms off, encourages the new ones to start popping out. So we're just gonna get this plant cleaned up and it is gonna be blooming before we know it. I've got my mums all trimmed up. They look so much better. Now what I wanna do is to give them a nice feeding of a fertilizer high in nitrogen to encourage green new growth and new flowers. So what I'm using are my go-to fertilizers, Good Dirt Plant Food, and Vermisterra worm tea. So just use a good organic fertilizer that's high in nitrogen. That way you get nice long blooming of your mums. So we'll give the plant a nice soaking here so it has all the nutrients it needs to have lots more beautiful blooms. Oh, I can't wait. Another thing you can do to your mums to encourage a second bloom or even a third and fourth bloom is to completely prune them off. Now mums have a naturally rounded habit. That's how they grow the best. When they get tall and lanky like this plant here, they don't tend to do as well. So what I like to do when my plant starts looking like this, it's looking a little raggle taggle. All the blooms are pretty much spent. It's just to go in here with a sharp pair of scissors or with your pruners and just to cut them off to about two to three inches tall and this just encourages new growth, helps them bloom again, and even last another year. Now this plant is actually, I believe, about three years old now. So it's a great thing to do in a southern climate because it can help your mums keep blooming all winter long. In northern climates, trimming them back like this and then heavily mulching them can help them grow over the winter and then bloom again once the springtime comes. I know it feels pretty drastic, but it's actually the best thing to encourage new growth. It's a lot of dead stuff under here. So I am gonna trim all these dead branches back as far as I can get it. We don't want the plant's energy go into keeping uh, dead branches alive. We want to encourage all the good stuff to come out of this plant. And you'll be surprised at how this plant comes back. I'm also giving my mum plant here a nice good soaking with this fertilizer. And pretty soon we're gonna be seeing new growth. I realize sometimes as gardeners, it really is kind of scary to prune back our plants as drastically, but it really does breathe new life into the plants. And it's completely the key for getting your mums to bloom a second, third, or even fourth time. Well, let me know down below if you're gonna be trimming your mum plants so that you get more blooms. And let me know what your favorite color of mums are. They're just such a beautiful fall stunner to have in your garden. Please check out my seed shop over at calikimgardenhome.com and use the code Cal Calikim25 this weekend for 25% off all my seed collections, Calikim Smart Pots, and my book. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.